Are you ready to connect your Google Search Console information with Google Analytics so that you can start seeing that information in your reports? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm going to keep it quick. I'm going to keep it simple. Basically, what we're going to do is connect Google Search Console with Google Analytics, and then I'm going to show you how to be able to see those reports in your Google Analytics account. All right, let's head into the screen share. Okay, so the very first thing is log into your Google Analytics account. Make sure that you're logged into the right Google account. If you need to change it, you can just click the account in the top right hand corner up here and choose the other account. If you have multiple Google Analytics accounts, make sure that you're inside of the correct property. So if you need to change properties, you can click this drop down here, choose the account, choose the property. Okay, so what we're going to do is head down here to admin and click on that. If you haven't been inside of Google Analytics in a while, you may have noticed that they updated this dashboard interface, but essentially what we're gonna do is scroll down under product links, click search console links. Once you do that, you might see that there are no links created yet. So if you see this, this basically means Google Analytics is not connected to your Google search con console account just yet, but I have noticed that the system is connecting some accounts. So if you see something that looks like this, that means that there is a Google Search Console property account already associated with this Google Analytics account. So I would just double check that this is the correct one that you want associated with it. If it is, you're good to go. You can go into the next step of this tutorial. If it's not, you can click on this and then you can delete the association or the link right here. And then you can follow the steps that I'm about to take on this. So basically what you're going to do if you don't have anything linked is click the link button right here and then you're going to choose the the Google Search Console account that you want to connect with this one. So go ahead and choose the account and if you have a bunch of them in here you might need to use the search bar in order to find it and then click it and click confirm. So what that's going to do is say, yes, this is the Google Search Console property that I want to connect to this Google Search Console account. Go ahead and click next. Then you're going to select the web stream and then click next. Just make sure that these are the right things and then click the submit button. Once you do that, you should see this green little box that says link created. We should be <laughs> good to go in terms of actually creating the link between them. So then you should see this being updated where you have your search console property name and you'll be able to see that the link was successful. Now that it's connected, we actually want to show those reports in our Google Analytics account here. So basically how we do that is we can click on reports in the left-hand menu, and then we can click on library. Once you do that, you'll see collections, and then you can click this arrow to scroll over, and you should see search console, but notice that it's unpublished. So what we're gonna wanna do is click these three dots and click publish. Sometimes, apparently you gotta do it again. You know what, I'm going to refresh it and see if it worked. So, okay, so if that's happening to you too, I'm glad that it happened on this tutorial because sometimes users end up seeing that and then it didn't happen to me, so I can't walk you through the process, but apparently sometimes it can get stuck. So go ahead and just do a refresh. And then if it still didn't publish, try it again, and then it should go ahead and publish for you. Once it's all good and published, you should see on the left hand side, search console, and then you should be able to see the drop down here. So now you have different report tabs that you can kind of click on and play with. And this is bringing in your Google search console data. So you can go ahead and scroll down. Now you'll be able to see 
a bunch of information from Google Search Console so that you don't have to like have both of the tabs open. Now you can see it as you're diving into your Google Analytics data. So then you can come down here, you can see some additional information, which is always really helpful in terms of your organic search impressions, your click through rate, your engagement rate, engagement time, conversions if you have those set up, and all of that fun stuff. Okay, so hopefully this tutorial is quick and easy. And I will say one more thing, if you're not seeing the reports show up here, or if you're not seeing this data populate just yet, I have noticed that sometimes it can take either a couple minutes or up to an hour in order to have the reports kind of populate over in Google Analytics. So if you're not seeing this information yet, just give it a couple minutes, come back and double check, okay? So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my videos are helpful, therefore letting new people see them. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.